Worldwide, there's around 100 million people infected with hepatitis C. 20% of people that are infected will develop liver cirrhosis, and many of the liver cirrhotic patients develop liver cancer. The World Health Authority estimates that there are one to two million infections every year. To stop that, we need to develop a vaccine. So we are working on a vaccine to hepatitis C in the Li Ka Shing Institute of Virology at the University of Alberta. Uh, we've been researching it for seven years. It's been very difficult to develop a vaccine against hepatitis C for several reasons. One is you need to know if antibodies that you can generate through a vaccine can actually inhibit the infection. And with hep C, even though we discovered it in 1989, we weren't able to grow it in cell culture until 2005. It's an extremely difficult virus to grow in cell culture even today. The second impediment is we don't really have a convenient animal model to predict um, human infection. And so the lack of an animal model with a full immune response has really hindered the development of a hep C vaccine also. Because of those two caveats I already mentioned, it took a long time for people in the field to figure out what are the correlates of protection. And what that means is what kind of immune response really correlates with protection in people. If a person gets infected, roughly 20% uh, of those people uh, will spontaneously resolve the infection without any drug treatment. They have the ability to resolve and eradicate the virus on themselves. And we think that what is protecting them are neutralizing antibodies to the virus and what we call cellular immune responses to HCV-infected liver cells. Those tend to be very high in people that can spontaneously resolve the infection. Now, when those people that have resolved the infection once then see the virus again, we have evidence that they are relatively protected. They are unlikely to become persistent carriers when they encounter the virus a second time. So the method of vaccination then needs to be one that recapitulates those immune responses in those people. Now we're at the point where we know what vaccine to make, um, we hope. So we're manufacturing the vaccine for human use right now at the University of Alberta. We hope to start clinical trials maybe the end of next year or early 2019. At the University of Alberta, I work within the Li Ka Shing Institute of Virology, also the Department of Medical Microbiology and Immunology. And over the years, we received 35 million Canadian dollars for two CFI grants. And what they gave us is really state-of-the-art equipment to do virology, immunology and vaccinology. Without that, we would not have been able to have researched the hep C vaccine and produced it. So the CFI has been incredibly important. It has been key to our work on the hep C vaccine.